So this is a little video about how to make one of these things, which is a three-way axis. This will be one of the main tools we'll be starting with to learn a little bit more about how to think in three dimensions. So I used graph paper, but you can also use line paper. I wouldn't advise using plain paper just because it might be a little bit harder to have straight lines on it. I went in three rows. This is quarter inch graph paper. The one that I previously made and was just holding up was on regular notebook paper and I went in two lines. And you're going to make three of these square columns, sort of. So after you go in three, I'll draw these lines. And then I'm going to make five of them. Why five? Because there's only four sides. The fifth one is a gluing tab. So you put glue on that one, and after you fold it on all these score lines that you're making with the pen, you'll fold it all together, and then you'll glue it all along its length. That will be the first of the three square columns. Once you have all the lines drawn out, you cut out that section of the paper and you carefully make folds along those lines that separate the four faces and the gluing tab. Once they're all folded, nice and neat, you will take and, oh, got to get that fifth side. There you go. Then get out your handy dandy glue stick, or you can also use tape if you don't have a glue stick. Here I just made a line of glue. You can also fold it all into a tube and then just run a piece of tape along the gap. And then each one of these axes is going to have two things associated with it. One is a letter, X, Y, or Z. best way to make this happen is fold it down so it's flat and then seal along the glue side and then bring it back into its square shape. Then you flatten it again. And the other thing I want people to think about is also how they're taking care of themselves during this time away from school. And so I also want you to think about three aspects of staying healthy. So I'm labeling this one with physical and I'm also turning it and labeling it with X. So math and engineering wise, it's the X axis. But in terms of your personal health, I want you to think about this as physical. The other two are going to be emotional and mental. And before you join them all together, I want you to write on the side where you write physical, mental, or emotional, any of the things that you've been doing to kind of take care of yourself in those three different realms. Now you end up with three columns. I'll put one aside. Now you need to find the center. I started out by counting these squares, but then I realized that was not a great idea. So I just took out the ruler and measured the length of this piece. Since it's the width of the same as a regular piece of paper, which is eight and a half inches, the halfway point is at four and a quarter. Did I have to measure all three of them? Oh no, I did not. I just duplicated the mark on each one of them after I lined up the ends. I thought that was pretty darn smart. Now put one aside. You won't need to cut all of them. The x-axis you will just leave as is. The second one you'll cut in half. And then on one end of both pieces, you will cut in, in this case, three squares. That's one of the other reasons why graph paper is really convenient, because you can tell how wide they are, and you can also judge how deep you're cutting them. You want the depth of cut to be the same as the size of one of the 
faces of each tube. So I'm going to cut the corners out. And then in engineering talk, I'm going to create what is called a flange by folding out each of these four. A flange, whether it's on a pipe or a piece of a bridge or even a piece of paper, is a way to connect one long piece to another piece at a right angle and it provides extra gluing surface because extra gluing surface equals extra strength. So I'll make two of these, spread them out, then I'll put glue on each one of these little flange faces. Yep, that's how it goes on. And they all hold on in place so they hold it there. But we need to put some glue on there. Flatten all up, glue, Hard to open. Nice. Now you use the center mark that we just made on all of them to center this piece on one side. And you just smooth those two flanges on and then the other two. In the beginning of this process you can still fold this flat. That ability kind of goes away as we put more of these on, as you'll see. Then you do the same with this one. After that, you continue gluing them, put them in place. So now we have an x-axis and a y-axis, or x and z. And then the last of the three, you do the exact same thing you did with the previous axis. You create the flange, glue it in place, this one's a little bit harder to put on because you can't really push it very hard into place without collapsing the whole thing. So sometimes I end up using a little tape to reinforce those joints. And there you have it.